In this next movie, we're going to take a look at text overlays and how they really work inside Lightroom 4's slideshow module. If I click on the box next to text overlays, it'll show me any and or all of the text overlays, those little boxes that happen to have a little bit of text in them. So if I turn that off, you'll see everything goes away except for this guy. Why didn't that go away? Well, it's not a text overlay it's an identity plate and it, the difference between an identity plate and a text overlay is that the identity of plate will appear on every single slide whereas a text overlay will only appear on individual slides unless of course you want a custom text that will be on everything so I'm just gonna click on that text overlay again you'll see some things show up what is that we wonder and where do we get her name well, once you have the text overlays box clicked on, you can come to the middle of the frame here and take a look at this ABC. We're talking about text, and it says add text to a slide. So if I click on that little ABC, it says, would you like to put custom text there? Well, you've got some options. It's not just custom text that you can use. You can also use a caption or the date or the equipment or the exposure that you use, or the file name, or the sequence, or title. Well, title and caption, these two elements came from some other place. Where could we get those? Well, if we go back to the library module and click on that library tab, we see all of our separate individual images here. And what we need to do at this point is we need to give these individual images some metadata. So let's take a look over on the right hand side in the library module and you see metadata here and it says we've got a file name and we've got a copy name and we've got a title and a caption. Hmm, where did we see those before? The title and the caption were two of those options that you could use inside the slideshow module. So what you could do here is you could highlight one of the images, click in the title and give it a name and I believe this young lady's name was Kelsey so we could say the title is Kelsey we could also give it a caption now if we wanted to say caption we could you know call it a particular <clears throat> title a, a particular style or a particular uh, mood or whatever but let's just say that this is um, studio lighting So now we've got the title says Kelsey and the caption says studio lighting. All right, let's just say OK by hitting the return key to set that. Now if we go back to the slideshow. Aha, we see that we have actually added the name Kelsey here. So that must have been the title that we were looking at before. So if we go down to our ABC at the bottom and we see custom text and we choose from this list title what we'll see is there it is Kelsey shows up there so we could put that Kelsey pretty much anywhere and you remember the little little anchor point that we had here this guy wherever we put that anchor point the little kind of spider-man anchor point that allows this word to show up in the same spot of every slide so if I move that over and put it on the inside edge of one of these then it would appear there in every single frame so it would be inside the image so maybe I want it to be down the bottom left instead of up top and if I just go and click on that one up top I could just hit delete and it would go away I have to click to highlight it first well so now here's Kelsey well you want to be careful and you want to talk to your students about being careful about this because now with the word Kelsey inside this frame it becomes part of the image really as opposed to that whole photograph that the student took as being a separate entity so let's take that and move it outside and we'll put it up in that corner and we can even grab the corners and make it a little bit smaller so it's a little less significant still it shows up now you want to be careful about any of these words being bigger than this space so that they don't run into this line because if they are too big and they go over this line, they will show up overlapping the picture. And that may be okay, but in this particular case, that's how that's going to work. All right. We also had another option. 
I'll click off of Kelsey right there, and I'll go down to the bottom here and click on the ABC. And the other option was going to be to use the caption. And if I click on caption, aha, there's that caption that we just put in there. So maybe we didn't necessarily want to call this studio lighting, but in this case, this is what we called it, studio lighting. So we could say this image was a studio lighting shot, and we could anchor it down here in the bottom. And if we're careful and we make sure that it stays underneath this line here, and we can even move this line up a little bit, then that studio lighting word there will never be interrupted by an image, even if it's a vertical image that comes top to bottom. So I'm just going to make it a little smaller, click off of it so that it's set, and let's just back out. So that's adding custom text overlays. You have to make sure that the text overlays box is clicked on, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come down to the ABC, click, and you've got a series of options here. And you can actually click on any of these guys and put the information in there. And with, let's say we wanted to talk about the exposure that was used or the equipment, the camera that was used. If we clicked on that, it shows up down that bottom right, bottom left, excuse me. And we click here and we can drag this up and say that that was 125th of a second at F20. So we just use the studio lighting here so we know that that's the size. I don't know that that fits in this particular thing. So as long as it's still selected and I see that by the box, I'm just going to hit delete and it goes away. 